It's a beautiful day today. My God, what a lovely, lovely, nice, sunny afternoon. It's 3.30 in the uh, daytime or afternoon and uh, because it's been raining twice. So the grass has become green again and the uh, air is a bit fresher and uh, in the evening uh, you don't feel the mosquitoes anymore that are not much but still since two days ago it has uh, lowered down the temperature and um, it's still tropical all right it's not like uh, it's cold but uh, it's lovely and uh, I can share you I can show you the day here I'm sitting in bed and so bright and beautiful there it is how bright is that I'm here sitting in my bedroom that's the stairs to go upstairs on the upper deck and there it is how bright is that is so lovely also because I took a nap there's my bathroom I took a nap so I feel so refreshed because I've been dozing off since last night oh I love this kind of day here in Jakarta particularly in my house it's beautiful love it yesterday I swam already another 15 laps so it's been 30 laps for two days in a row that I slept uh, I mean I swam I just woke up that's why I said I slept but it's such a beautiful day today that I really really love to share with you the weather that's the village on the right side of this property so bright lovely you know I just realized that my iPhone is okay, you know, it has the storage to make a video, not long, but at least it's not absurdly short like in the past. Apparently there is space now, a little bit, but at least I could make a video on my old iPhone. I need to change to the new one, but I have to wait. This one was uh, purchased uh, four years ago, so it's uh, iPhone 5s. I need iPhone XX <laughs> so let's see if I could get that but you know I'm so satisfied with whatever I have I'm not an ambitious person who always has to have this has to have that so how have you been doing all this time well today is uh, Friday again you know the week passes by so quickly and yet it's not like I am busy you know I'm very very a bit um, disappointed in myself because I get invitations especially from my good good friend and uh, I had to decline not because I don't want to spend time with her but my friends they don't understand that you know I don't have a husband anymore I have to be careful with my uh, you know my uh, spending I can't just go out and have fun without thinking at the end of the month how I'm going to pay I have to put it out here for the widows so that you know people understand that widows um, even though I have moved on yes I have moved on but still you know I, I have responsibility and I cannot just go out and uh, have fun without thinking at the end of the month how I'm going to pay because I have obligations as well but uh, you know they're so nice they always invite me and I feel so bad because every time I always have to decline when I just arrived here yes I did go out with them but now you know I have to be careful <laughs> unless my course okay gets students I need students to sign up on my course so that would be a great help for me and okay I'll continue later I'm waiting for uh, tea now so I don't know what she's going to serve 
So my tea is ready. Lemon tea with this typical Indonesian porridge like which is going to be combined with this palm sugar like that and this one is pandan leaves it gives aroma to any mixture of cakes it's called pandan so let me just have my tea now pretty isn't it of my vlog today which I took from my iPhone but with this one it's uh, from my laptop because I'm now in bed Friday night and in bed but I have my dinner here um, most of the time I have my dinner in my bedroom because I don't see uh, there's a point for me to go downstairs and sit by myself on the dining table at the dining table so yeah most of the time I have it here in my bedroom and um, today I just uh, spent the whole day home and uh, I wanted to do another exercise but I didn't I've been dozing on and off since yesterday um, fell asleep early in the evening and then woke up and fell asleep again and then uh, the whole day I did the same because I never really had a full night sleep because here the time uh, it's 12 hours ahead of uh, America and in Amer and I follow the American news that's why by the time it's all active the over there here it's um, bedtime and I would stay up once in a while to watch the live stream something like that you know I just follow the saying uh, that uh, I don't go out much because first of all I don't really like it's very strange I, I don't have that desire to go out at all unless maybe I have a date or I have a companion but I am fine by myself I don't feel like leaving you know the house since I'm so comfortable here but I've always been a homebody I've always loved home and that's why I've always loved life as a wife basically you know i'm very very traditional kind of woman but at the same time uh, i also like to have my own space so it's not like i have to have somebody next to me the whole time so now i'm alone i'm fine i'm fine because at least i know i don't have to um, you know up and about very very early I do wake up early but I do have sleep in which is very rare ironically speaking since now that I'm free I don't wake up late when I was still uh, married or when I had my husband still I would love to have uh, sleep in but uh, now no I don't I wake up early I do my exercise but sometimes I would just uh, fall asleep around five, 5 o'clock then I would wake up around 9 o'clock I have to have my breakfast before 9 that is of paramount importance because otherwise my whole day would be just you know not running smoothly because then I have a foggy brain let's put it that way how important to know your body you know you have to know why and what's the cause you are what you are so I know already when I don't have breakfast before 9 a.m. I cannot function and be efficient or be uh, you know focusing 100% the whole day I would be just so distracted and or disconnected so anyway um my housekeeper, he li she lives here. The whole family lives here. So when she brought the food here around 8 p.m., normally she would wait and then until I finished, then she would come and pick up the 
dishes and then go downstairs and wash and whatnot. But tonight I told her to go home. Her home is at the pool house because you see my pool house, there are three uh, parts of it. One is uh, from her and her family. The other one is for the gardener and his family. And the one in the center is actually a whole bedroom suite by itself. But we use it for laundry and ironing and treadmill. But there are two bedrooms. There is an air condition. There is a bathroom. So if really, you know, somebody uh, needs uh, an extra room, I always have it. We can always... Uh, you know, uh, convert it to a nice, beautiful, lovely, sweet room. And, uh, but they have their own entrance since the building is facing another street. And it's perfect for them because then they have, have their own privacy. And I also have my own privacy that when they have their family or friends visiting, I never s see these people because they enter from the other road which is a secondary road from the road uh, in front of my main entrance. But the road here is small and this place is very secluded. It's still in the rural area, so it's not developed, but at the same time it's nice and still very, um, very fresh. It's a uh, villagey kind, you know, the, the real uh, rural villagey kind. So I'm surrounded by all these uh, uh, rural houses, uh, the real people of Jakarta and it's not like a, a gated community, things like that, no. But a lot of houses here, they have uh, very secluded uh, uh, premises, so you can't see properly from outside because it's still very, very uh, uh, private looking and very uh, natural still. Okay, that one, and then this one I'm uh, taping from uh, my laptop because the vlog I made today is from my iPhone and apparently my iPhone has storage still so I can use it now because I realized that I think some of the contents has been transferred uh, to, to Google Drive. I use Google Drive to transfer some of my videos and my photos so that uh, empties the iPhone sto storage which is not much left but still at least I can uh, take a few minutes of vlog here and there that's practical because I can't take my laptop wherever or my webcam wherever I want to go or wherever, wherever I want to be except when it's still uh, sh sh shoot then, then it's alright like Yes, uh, what else I'd like to uh, share with you? Um, what kind of food do you like? Please write to me below. I, I would love to read your comments because what kind of food do you like? Where have you been? Uh, I'd like also to know about you. And uh, of course, if there's anything that you'd like to know more about me, then as always, I would just share them with you here. That's it, and that's the purpose, right? To get to know one another. Because the world today now is so instant, it's so wide, it's so expansive. You can just, you know, entertain yourself without TV anymore. You know, in Italy, we gave up TV like already uh, six years ago. And thank God for that. I never had TV anymore. And uh, here, yes, we have TV here because uh, I need them for the guests, for the my bed and breakfast rooms, in case they come and like to see the you know, cable TV. I do have them, but only downstairs, not in my bedroom, not in my daughter's bedroom, only downstairs. In the past, yes, I had in all four bedrooms because I had the technician who was kind enough to connect all four but now no you are limited for one household uh, two bedrooms only uh, on, a, on, a, on a what you call on the decoder uh, of the cable TV only two bedrooms allowed 
and that's it. So I don't have a, a TV or I don't watch TV in my bedroom. And uh, what else? There is a lot of uh, things that I still need to to do, like you know, I still need to uh, have my uh, gazebo renovated because I have a beautiful reno. Uh, I have a beautiful gazebo actually in my garden, but this time I came back from Italy. Um, suddenly, you know, I see them all all uh, dilap- dilapidated I don't know what happened and I need to you know have that repaired and restored so all these things I'm I, there it's in my head just like also one part of the how do you call that not the roof but the edge of the roof where where it uh, uh, what do you call um, how to say that when the water falls when the rain falls and then it keeps the water there in order to uh, how to say to uh, allow the flow to go and fall to the ground I don't know how to say these things so I need that uh, repaired things like this that are in my mind now you know not having a husband I have to think of all these things so it's all very new for me so all widows out there uh, you know uh, if there is one subscriber or one uh, viewer here who is a widow please please write me or contact me because you know we are kindred spirits we, we, we at least we understand each other and um, but I must say now it's four years gone and uh, I've moved on. When I say I've moved on, that thought of my husband is always there every day. But when I said I've moved on, I'm trying now to, to, to open a new chapter in my life. Even though I'm alone, it's not like I have a new life with another person. I'm just on my own and that is the new life that I have that I am trying now to build or I'm building let's not say I'm trying I am building and um, slowly slowly it can give me more and more uh, independence because I've been depending on my husband uh, to tell you frankly but now you know I am learning how to be independent in a way (laughs) so uh, yeah so that's it I think I better again wrap up this um, video because I might go on talking and talking and uh, you know I don't like to take uh, such a long uh, long precious uh, hours uh, moment of your time so that's it I hope you're having a nice weekend because today is Friday in Jakarta, Indonesia. It's quarter to 11 p.m. And uh, yeah, see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.